loved on your moms last week for Mother's Day. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, my name is Miss Lauren and we have started a series of interactive videos to help you connect to Christ, your family, and your life. Gather your family in your favorite spot in your house, whether it's the living room, kitchen table, or outside on the patio. You're going to need your Bible, a plastic water bottle, um, some water, vegetable oil, food coloring, Alka-Seltzer, and um, a funnel. I got my Alka-Seltzer tablets at Dollar Tree, so they're really easy to find and cheap. As usual, we have also created a handout for you if you want it. The link should be attached in the description or comments with this video. Feel free to pause the video at any time to gather what you need. I'll be here waiting for you. Today, I just want to be honest with you. This week has been so busy. We are packing up our whole house and moving to a new one. I have several projects I'm working on, and I'm just really, really frazzled. So, Good morning. Well, hey, Miss Charity. Hi. Did I just hear you say that you were feeling a little frazzled? Yes, you heard right. I'm just feeling really upset right now with all I have to do, and I just can't seem to, like, settle down, you know? I know exactly how you feel, Miss Lauren. Sometimes I have a lot of school projects going on and things that I'm doing at home, and it can get really overwhelming, and it can make me feel frazzled, too. Have you ever felt this way? Pause the video now and talk to your family about a time in your life where you just seemed overwhelmed, stressed, and worried. trying to be a good person or a good student or a good child that we feel like we start to drown and just can't keep up with all the things. I know exactly what you mean. You know, Miss Lauren, what you just described reminds me of a story in the Bible where Peter is walking on the water, but then he starts to sink. Yes, Miss Charity, that is such a good story. Let's get out our Bibles and read it together. Pause the video now, get out your Bibles, and turn to Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. Read it as a family and talk about what happened that caused Peter to start sinking. I just love this story. Jesus walking on the water and allowing Peter to do the same just shows us the strength of his power. Miss Charity, what happened that made Peter start to sink? Verse 30 says that when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. Yes, Peter saw the wind, and that means he took his eyes off of Jesus and looked at the scary situation he was in instead, so he began to sink. The same is true in our scary situations. If, we, if all we focus on is what's happening around us, then we aren't focusing on Jesus. We have to keep our eyes on him and he will bring us peace. Yes, as soon as Peter cried out, Lord, save me, Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took a hold of him. That is so calming for, for me to hear today. All I have to do is look to Jesus, talk to him, and he's right there to walk me through the situation. The same is true for you. Talking to God can be awkward because we can't see him, but it is an awesome thing to practice. And the more we practice prayer, the more peace we will have in our hearts. Pause the video now and talk with your family about prayer. When is your favorite time to talk to God? How do you like to talk to him best? Do you write out your prayers? Do you talk to him out loud or in your head? Where is your favorite place to pray? Discuss the answers to these questions with your family. And when you come back, I'm going to show you one of my favorite places to pray and spend time with God. Can you guess where we are? I bet you can. We're in my car. My car is a place that I like to pray and turn on some worship music and just sing as loud as I want. <clears throat> I love the way... The music surrounds me in a car, and as crazy as it sounds, some of my most favorite moments with God and where I felt closest to Him have been in my car. 
Miss Lauren, you better not be closing your eyes while you drive. Oh, Miss Charity, you know I'm not. We can pray anytime, anywhere, and in any place, eyes closed or eyes open. The only specific rule in prayer is that we talk to God. The rest doesn't really matter. He just wants us to talk to him and get to know him better. What's your favorite worship song, Miss Lauren? Actually, that's a really hard question for me because I love a lot of worship songs. Right now, there's a song called Graves Into Gardens that's been my favorite in the car. Want to hear a little bit of it and see how I worship in the car? Sure. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. We're going to head to one of Miss Charity's favorite places to pray now. But while we're on our way, you pause the video and share with your family your favorite song to worship to. Maybe plan a day this week where you can get in the car as a family and worship together for, to all your favorite songs. Maybe make a playlist. It'll be fun. Go. Being beside the water just calms me and brings me so much peace. No matter what's going on in my life, I love just watching the water, listening to the waves, and feeling it splash on my toes. Every once in a while, I'll bring my Bible out here with me and spend some time thinking about what I've read and just talking to God about all that's going on in my life. I feel the exact same way. There's just something about water and being amongst God's creation that makes you feel close to Him. And when we are close to Him, we feel His peace rush over us, just like the waves. Jesus says to his disciples in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let them be afraid. When we fix our eyes on Jesus and when we open his word, sing worship songs, or go to a place in creation, we can feel this peace that only comes from him, no matter what's going on in our lives. We are going to head home and get ready to make something, but right now, pause the video and talk about some places where you feel God's peace in your life. Maybe make a plan to spend some family time with God in one of them this week. Okay, we're back at home. It's still kind of chaotic, but my eyes are focused on Jesus and he is going to get me through this move and all the things going on in my life. Right now, we're going to do a fun, peaceful project with the supplies you gathered in the beginning. I can't wait. I love this, and I think we have another special guest that wants to help out too. I'm here, I'm here, I'm ready to help. Oh goodness. Well, okay then, this is my husband, Mr. Michael. He loves science and wanted to help out with our project today since we are making a lava bottle. Dyer, these are so cool. I can't wait to show you how. Can we get started? Sure, let's go. These kind of remind me of water, like we talked about from our, in our bottle story earlier. Okay, so first you're going to take your bottle. Okay. And you're going to fill it up a third of the way with water. Okay. Hold on, Larry, I have to help a little bit. Is that good? I think that's about good. Okay. A third of the way, not sure. half, a third. And then you're going to use your funnel to fill it the rest of the way with vegetable oil. Okay. Not the whole way, but almost all of the way. How's that, Mr. Michael? I think that's good right there. Okay. Wow, that's great. Now Miss Lauren's going to do it too. Thank you. You'll see that the water is more dense than the oil. So the oil just sits on top of the water. It's kind of cool. Like Jesus walked on the water in your story. Ha ha. That is super cool. Pause the video now and make your own if you want. We will give you the next steps when you're done. Okay, Mr. Michael, what's next? You're going to love this part. Now we're going to use our food coloring to make it pretty. 
which is your favorite thing to do. You know me well. I can't wait to put in some blue and some green to make it teal. What color are you going to use, Miss Charity? I'm going to use pink and purple. Okay, okay. Go ahead and drop about six drops of food coloring into your bottle. The droplets are going to go straight to the bottom and mix with the water. Oh, fun. They're dropping down there. Yeah. Okay, they're almost there. They're kind of sitting there for a second. We'll wait on them. Okay, I think I've got mine the color I want it when they get down there. I've got my food coloring droplets in. That's awesome. Now the final step is the most fun. Grab your Alka-Seltzer tablets, Woo! crush them up, and drop them in a few at a time. Okay. So As you do, watch what happens. It makes it turn into a lava lamp. You can keep the fun going by dropping in more and more. Ooh, look at all the bubbles. So wow. cool. Wow. This is impressive. So fun. Just make sure you seal it with your cap when you're done. And you can just keep dropping them in if you want the stuff to keep going. It's so cool. I could Very watch awesome. these bubbles all day long. Me too. I love lava lamps. I'm going to seal them. Whoa. Look how cool. That is awesome. I just love watching the blobs of color float back up and down. And while this is peaceful, it's nothing compared to the peace of God. So go make your bottle, but keep your eyes fixed on Jesus this week, and he will give you the ultimate peace. We can't wait to connect with you again soon. Goodbye. Bye.